three million people ride Space Mountain every year, but unlike a famous ride like Colossus, Space Mountain is in near total darkness, meaning no one knows what the ride actually looks like. Which as far as I'm concerned, needed to be fixed with a special undercover operation. Now as for the legality of this, if you check the back of your ticket, it says you have to obey all the park rules. And if you check their website for the rules on forbidden items, it says you can't bring in shoes with wheels, or stun guns, or cremated remains. Ew. But you'll notice the Forbidden Items list makes no mention of chest-mounted LiDAR scanners. By the way, you should know LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging, whereas Radar is Radio Detection and Ranging. Basically, it's like having a bunch of laser pointers inside this shell shooting all around the room. And each time you fire one of them, you then see how long it takes for you to see it hit the object it's pointed at. And since we know the speed of light, if we measure that time, it will tell us how far away the object is. And with that, it was time for the execution phase of Secret Undercover Operation Mouse. Let's go! It felt so good to cross off a 30 year old bucket list item. And a few days later, he did not disappoint. This is from the LiDAR you were wearing on your chest. Get out of here. All of this is totally in the dark. Now what's really cool is we could visualize what was recorded as the ride progresses. And so as you can see here, you get a sense of what the LiDAR was seeing in real time as the ride progressed on. But what's even cooler though, is we can now use that data to make an actual tabletop 3D model of Space Mountain with the help of our army of 3D printers. Which meant for the first time ever, this question mark's days were numbered. Got it. Could it actually deliver on the dream of 14 year old Mark Rober and map out Space Mountain well enough for me to make a scaled 3D printed model? And after 30 years of waiting, I'm happy to report for the first time ever, this is what the Space Mountain track actually looks like. Wow. This is so cool. This is it, Space Mountain has been revealed. And thanks to Harrison's mapping technology, this means you can now actually see what it would look like to write Space Mountain with all the lights on in Crunch Labs, even if at this size, you'd be way below the ride's five foot minimum height requirement. And all of this is why I love being an engineer.